Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you're new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and a YouTube channel. So welcome if this is your first time. Today's video is a bit of a different one. I am planning for autumn, so in my mind I'm like, right, autumn hairstyles, no longer having to tie my hair up because it's like a heat wave. I just love this really big, bouncy, curly look for autumn. I think it just looks so nice with so many outfits. Especially when you're all like layered up and you've got your nice co coats on and having this really big glossy curly look is just everything I love about autumn and going into Christmas. So I've just today tried the Pretty Little Thing Beauty Works curler to achieve this look and I'm going to get going right now from start to finish and showing you how I got this look. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I've just washed my hair with Beauty Works shampoo and conditioner and this is the results after I've just literally dry, towel dried it. Um, I recently had my hair extensions put back in so I've now got tape extensions in. Marie fitted them the other day who styles my hair if I do like shoots and things like that. And I also have my hair coloured by Bianca at your Salon. I'll put all the, everything in the description below because I know I've had a few questions about what I asked for when I go to the hairdressers for my colour. There is also a video on how she does that and that will be tagged down below as well. But today I'm going to talk you through how I style my hair for autumn and that is, like I just said, I have my extensions put back in and I have had that done because I just love in autumn those really big bouncy curls. They look so good with autumn outfits when you've got loads of layers on, nice chunky knits and you've just got a lovely full bouncy curls. And the reason I have hair extensions put in is because my hair doesn't naturally hold a curl. So, so many times I've had my hair styled and then within an hour it drops, the curls they just do not stay. Whereas when I have hair extensions in and then fitted, whether clip-ins or fitted, their curl lasts so much longer, it keeps all day. So I've just decided to have them put back in. My hair is already quite long, but it's just more for volume and like I said, for the curl. So I'm gonna show you step by step how I achieve my big bouncy curl looks. And we're gonna start by using the Denman Pink Brush to detangle my hair. I absolutely swear by this. I actually originally got this brush when I first had my hair extensions put in because it is really kind to hair extensions, but I've just used it now probably for about I'm going on maybe three, three and a bit years. Um, it's just really good for not damaging your hair when you brush it. So if you wanted to help your hair be more healthy, not have any split ends, then I really recommend buying the Denman brush. I think it's like £8.50. And I also have a Look Fantastic discount code that you can use on any of the items that I show you today. And you get a bargain. So yeah, 100%. Number one, always rave about this on Instagram. This brush, it's just so good because it's kind to your hair and you don't, it doesn't leave any damage. It's really good for detail tangling it's just my absolute necessity i literally will always have one of these in my handbag on a night out to brush my hair with because i just think they're just amazing they're, amazing. they're so good for brushing curls out they're so good for detangling i just cannot rave about this brush more i actually recently tried this one which is a detangling one which has got like a gap in the middle so you can dry your hair quicker but no this one i cannot live without this this brush so i'm just gonna detangle my hair a little bit and then I am gonna work through while I'm doing that the Beauty Works 10 in 1 Miracle Spray. I only recently got introduced to this when I was using it on holiday when I had my Beauty Works hair extensions in and it really rescued my hair when it was getting tangled on holiday and things like that so I really recommend this 10 in 1 Miracle Spray. I, think I just think it's really good for keeping your extensions healthy and oh my god what is wrong with it? It's really good for keeping your hair extensions healthy and detangling your hair and just keeping it hydrated. So but that is another great product that I've recently started using when I'm doing and styling my hair, especially if you've got hair extensions in. I also use every day the heat protection from Beauty Works um, or any other, it doesn't have to be Beauty Works, I've just recently started using this one again because for my hair extensions. But you need to have a hair protection in your hair styling routine because Obviously your hair gets really damaged when you use curlers or hair dryers or anything like that. So if you are wanting to have really healthy, shiny hair, then heat protection is super important. And I like to put that on the ends of my hair. And then I've got the money piece at the front, which is blonde. So I always make sure that I've put a lot of heat protection directly onto those bits as well because they do really snap if not. So brushing my hair through. As you can see, like just adding that little bit of 10 in 1 Miracle Spray has really helped to make it a lot easier to brush through. 
and word of warning if you are going to have hair extensions or you do have a hair extensions already do not go in the sea with them because I went to Mykonos and I had a weave put in with um, the Beautyworks hair extensions like I just said I've got tapes in now which are a lot more easy to manage I think um, and I got in the sea and it got really tangled and it was an absolute nightmare so avoid salt water at every cost when it comes to hair extensions because it was just one giant knot whereas I really try to look after my hair, I don't want any split ends, I don't want to damage it. Yes I've got hair extensions in but you can have hair extensions and not damage your hair if you look after your hair. Something that did really help on holiday when it was tangled was this Beautyworks Pearl Nourishing Argan Oil Mask. I had like a little sample one that I took away with me and it was so good for keeping my hair hydrated and when it got tangled I put that in and slept in it and it, it really helped get a lot of it out so yeah this again. All these products I've just mentioned I actually got from Look Fantastic as part of the Molly May um, Beautyworks kit and I think it's really good value for money because you get all the different bits and all of them have, so far have been really good. Obviously this is not a sponsored video, it's not sponsored by Look Fantastic, it's not sponsored by Beautyworks but I've just been in a position where I have been working with Look Fantastic on Instagram so I've tried a lot of the products and had the choice to try different things and I've found that the Beautyworks stuff is really good for hair extensions and just making sure that your hair is really healthy and glossy and it's really good for curls so that's why I kind of just started using it and I um, found it's worked really well. Also I recently tried this which had got really good reviews on Look Fantastic and it is the Kerasess Incredible Blow Dry Lotion. Um, it's a miracle heat lotion um, and it, it's meant to hold your curls in a bit more so I only use a tiny bit. I was using before the Olaplex, I think it's number three, I've got it somewhere, um, the styling one which again is really good as well but I read the reviews on this Kerasess one so I wanted to give it a go so I've been using that recently um, and it is really good for holding the curls in but both of them are, are good to, to be honest. I just don't like to overload my hair with too much product because then it really weighs down the curls um, and then they start to drop a bit more but you want to be using products that are going to help hold the curl in and keep it shiny and nice and, and not tangled. So. This is the basics of what I've got. I also use day to day the Moroccan oil treatment in light. So if tomorrow, for instance, I woke up and my hair was a little bit dry, then I'll put the Moroccan hair oil um, on the ends of my hair and just anywhere that it's dry, but I tend to as well, if I'm just letting my hair naturally dry, then I'll just leave this on the ends as well. If I'm just gonna do like a day to day look, not nothing too glam, no curls or anything, I'll just use the Moroccan hair oil just to make sure that my ends are protected and they're not gonna break. So now I've got my hair all combed through. I've made sure it's all, got no knots in at all. I'm gonna start sectioning it off into how I'm gonna blow dry it. So the hairdryer I'm using today is one that I've had, I would say probably maybe 15 years I've had this hairdryer. Like it's, I've had it a long time. It's an OG hairdryer. So basically my dad used to have a hair dressing wholesalers where he would supply hairdressing equipment to hairdressers. So we had, I had like an endless supply of whatever I wanted from a professional hair salon and this was one thing that I asked for and it was a hair dryer and it's called a Parlux Milano. I don't even know if they make these anymore but I've had it that, that long but this is just the difference I think in having buying a quality salon hair dryer is that obviously a salon hair dryer is meant to be used every single day multiple times a day so it's a little bit more expensive but I found that it's lasted so long. Like I literally cannot live without this hairdryer. Like if I go to a hotel and I use like the hairdryer in the hotel, I want to cry because I cannot deal with that. I have to bring my own hairdryer because it just is just makes such a difference to your hair. Like I say, because my hair doesn't naturally hold a curl, it's just a bit frizzy. Then having a good hairdryer to blow dry my hair with just makes such a difference. I've also got today to blow dry my hair with a GHD brush. I don't know if you can see this. I feel like a real YouTuber right now this um, blow drying brush. I've also got the bigger one as well and you can get these from Look Fantastic. And I'm going to section my hair off with these GHD clips. We can get them clips anywhere. They're not anything special just because they're GHD, they're just clips. So I think I got them free with one of my GHD straighteners or curls or whatever. But I'm going to do it in sections. So this front bit is vitally important to the look that we're going to achieve today. So I'm going to push this over this side, put my clip in. I like to get the, the brush in this hand, the hairdryer in this hand, and then I want to go down in a motion like this, 
pulling my hair through the brush. Obviously the hairdryer will be on, but you won't be able to hear me. And then I keep doing it over and over again like this. And then that'll dry it in this like nice smooth motion. I don't do that for all of my hair because it will take forever. But I do that for the majority of the front of my hair because that's probably where I get the most frizz and the back you can just curl anyway. Right, I'm gonna start. So once that under section is all dry, we're gonna move on to doing the front bit now. And what I'm gonna do is get this front section. So you wanna do it from the crown of the head, which is here. And it's almost like a bit of a fringe, but it's not a fringe. So it looks something like this, so there's not too much hair, it just looks like this. And it's, it's this kind of front section of your hair and it meets on both sides. Just tuck the rest behind your ears. And then it should look something like this in your hair. I do actually have this front bit a little bit shorter than the rest of my hair, just so it frames my face a little bit more um, to create what we're gonna create. So what you're gonna do is, again, this brush, you're gonna blow dry this forward this time. So you're putting both of your partings together this way. I also like to build a bit of volume here by pulling it out like this when I'm blow drying it. So there's that. It should look like this now that you've blow dried it. And then I like to put a heated roller in, but you don't have to have a heated roller. You can just use a normal roller like this that are super cheap. But I use the, because I do this all the time, I use the Babyliss heated rollers. It's really hot in my hand, ouch. <laughs> I use these ones. Um, they're 50 pounds for a full set, and sometimes I'll put the rollers all through my hair and just do like a blow dry look. They are really good. I actually really like them. Um, but I just find that the heated ones just do the fringe a little bit quicker. But if you were going to just use the normal rollers, I would do this first and then do your main cup and try and leave it probably for about 45 minutes before you take it out. Um, and maybe like do this where you've just blow dried it so it's still hot and then put the roller in. But this is a good thing about having the heated rollers, you don't have to rush to get the um, heat straight into the hair. With the heated roller, I am going to pull it down the bottom like this. Roll it around from the bottom there like that, and then roll it continuously back like so, making sure it's got all the little flyaways in. And then it comes with these clips, and you just clip it on top of your head, and it just stays there, creating a really nice full fringe for when we've dried all the rest of our hair and curled it. That's when we'll take that out. I will do a um, review on the rollers as well because I have started doing that quite often where I put the rollers in. I do love it. It's so much easier than having to dry hair, curl it and then set it. It kind of just gives you that really like loose kind of big blow dry look. So I'll do that another day. So I'm just going to dry the rest of my hair like I've just showed you before and then I'll be back and show you how I curl it. Okay, so now my hair is completely dry. I've made sure I've got all in between my tapes and dried it all with the hair dryer section by section. And now we are gonna start a curling process. So I do tend to use quite often this GHD curler. I can't remember which size this one is. It doesn't actually say. But this is a curler that I usually use on my hair. And what I'll do is grab it like this and then I wrap it around in this downward motion like this and I use that quite often to get those big curls that I often share but today I'm going to try the pretty little thing Beauty Works waver. I was gifted this I had no idea it was coming so I was absolutely chuffed that it came in the post um, and I want to give it a go it comes with two different attachments one is the waver so you get those nice mermaid kind of waves and then the other is this long curler which looks a lot like the Molly May curler and you just have this bottom bit here which you attach in like so I think that's right it's in <laughs> so I'm gonna use this today and test it out while I'm doing my hair with you guys so the set comes with the bag that I just showed you the other waver and then this little heat protection mat and then it, I've just turned it on and it says off so you can go up to 220 you can have it at 180 or 220 and it's also got a countdown to when it's ready to use very large <laughs> but I'm hoping it's going to curl things quicker for me and then it also comes with this delightful pink 
heat protection. I am gonna section my hair off. So the plan is, this obviously is gonna stay in the whole time and then this bit is gonna all blend in together with the top. So this section at the front here on both sides is vitally important. So we wanna do that last because obviously as we curl, we get better at curling because we get used to what we're doing. So I always save the front for last. So I'm gonna do the same where I go in this downward motion. Oh, I just clicked the back. So oh, oh. In the downward motion, wrapping it around like so. The glove is fantastic because I can get it close to it, hold it on like that. And I've got a good feeling about this. It's got the bottom of that, so I can put my rest of my hand on it while I'm holding it there. I'm probably gonna wait 10 seconds, between 10 and 15 seconds. And then the trick I have learned is to slide it out and try and hold the curl so that it stays in this position for a second. I have been introduced to this <laughs> from a lot of hairstyles I've been working with recently. Got to be glued. It is such a good hairspray. I can't even tell you how much it holds your hair. The only problem is with curls, if you put too much hairspray in, it weights the curls down. So we don't want to go wild. We just want to literally from afar spray. And then, wow, oh my God. That is so gorgeous. That is a perfect big curl. Okay, beauty works. Pretty little thing. So far, so good. I like this. And then, we're just going to keep going. Because this is a little bit thicker than the GHD that I usually use, this is going to be hopefully a lot quicker because it's bigger, longer, thicker, which is perfect for long hair. So, we're just going to keep doing the same thing sectioning it off, not into two big sections because if you go for really big sections, it won't give you such a defined curl. You'll just end up with like a loose wave. And again, in a downwards position, we're wrapping it around the hair and holding it resting on that bit there. So a thick one. Again, holding it in your hand. Little square. This is coming down, but that's fine. I'm gonna multitasking right now, and then oh, perfect. Okay, I just need to really reclip this because it's come out. So perfect curls. Oh my gosh, they are so nice. So what I like to do is keep them crisp like this, and then when I've done my whole head of hair. I will brush them all out together. So next section. Now I've done all of this bottom bit, we're we'll moving on to the top. And so far I'm finding it really easy to use. The front bit, like I said, is vitally important. So. Like I'm gonna leave this on probably for a little bit longer because I really want this curl to be crisp. I'm so happy that I've got a chance to try this because I really wanted to try the Beauty Works curlers um, and I really wanted the waver. So I was absolutely chuffed when I was gifted this. I've got a curler, straighteners and hair dryer that I've had for absolute years. Like they've lasted so long from JHD. That's why I love JHD. They last so long and then obviously the hair dryer I mentioned earlier. I never like feel the need to buy another another hair equipment, do you know what I mean? Um, so I was really thankful for that and at the moment all the money that we make we're investing into ELR style so I just thought to myself, don't, you don't need to buy that right now, you need to invest the money in the business rather than treating yourself to a curler that you don't really need but actually now I've got it I'm like actually I really did, I really did need this, this is like so good, it makes life so much easier than that smaller curler. Oh, perfect, yeah, so leaving it on that little bit longer is definitely making it a bit more crisp. And then this one, I think I'm gonna do in two parts because I want it to really blend with the fringe once we've got that side done and leave it on for a little bit longer. The only thing I will say so far I have as a criticism that the glove's not that effective, like I can feel it's burning my hand. Whereas the Babyliss glove I got with 
an air styler a while ago. It's really good. It literally can touch it and it doesn't, I can't feel anything. Whereas this, I can, I can feel it's hot when my hand's near it. Last bit of front section. Oh my gosh, I love it. Right, bit of hairspray. So now I will just leave that. I'll put it to the side so perfect split down the back. Make sure I've got all this. Look at the difference. <laughs> I'm gonna do the exact same again make sure we do the underneath and leave this front bit till the very end right now we are on to the final bit of the front section last bit actually burning my hand so bad right now <laughs> as well this hairstyle is just not a quick one like it takes so long because you have to wait for it to set but I will say with some people it will last for like three days the curls so it's worth doing it okay now we're gonna give it a quick spray right so both sides are complete and they look really ringly like this. I'm going to start to brush out this side just very gently, nothing too vigorous. But as you can see, the curls are just so nice. Oh, so full and thick. You want to roll it down slowly and it should be a perfect ringlet like that and then I just like to again brush it down and just part it where the natural parting is and it just gives you that gorgeous wave from the side you don't have to curl it if it was a bit flat you could just grab the curler and, and create the end of the curls but you shouldn't need to so I'm just going to tip my head upside down just so it finds it's natural part in there we go and then I'm just going to brush it all through like I said this brush is absolutely amazing from start to finish it's perfect for this hairstyle. And there you go, how beauty is that for autumn? I am so impressed, I have to say. Like this this works just as good, so if you have already got a JHG curl, I'm not saying go out and buy the beauty works one, but that I am, um, yeah, it's very good for this kind of hairstyle just blends it all in so nicely and then if you wanted it to just sit like this not too much hairspray but there you go oh my god I love it so much and honestly the extension just makes such a difference I've curled my natural hair before and it does stay but it'll literally last probably an hour max in my hair whereas these extensions now it just will hold the curl so much better so if you just get some clippings if you don't want to go for a full extension look then you're going to have a lot more volume it's going to keep the curl if you do have some fake hair in there it is fake hair but it's real hair do you know so yeah this is the final look hope you enjoyed that a bit different from what i usually do if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe give this video a like and if you like these kind of hair videos i'll definitely do more um but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys really soon Bye.